like this show. I For told you it's like this. that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is... Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And before we do anything here, the ratings are in. <laughs> Dean's already read them, so he knows what I'm going to say here. The ratings, does Dean know how to read these, by the way? No, no, but he just got very excited when he saw the numbers. Looked important. Anyway, the ratings are in for Los Angeles. And uh, you may be interested to know that the Tom Likas show has once again improved upon perfection. You thought it was impossible. But among 81 rated radio stations in Southern California, we are a top 10 radio show, 12 plus. We're number nine overall, number six among English-speaking stations. That's 12 and over. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty damn good. And, and we were number one in time spent listening. That's the statistic that shows how much people like a particular radio station. Some stations get listeners by putting up a bunch of billboards. And then when people tune into the station, they tune in for five minutes. They say, I can't stand this. And then they tune out. By the same token, uh, our station spends a minimal amount of money marketing. <laughs> Our company, uh, you know the belief here at our company. We don't buy advertising. We only sell it. Bottom line. So our show gets a minimum amount of marketing. And the average listener, now you may be shocked to know this and possibly offended because of the low quality of our show, but uh, despite the offensive nature of this piece of crap, uh, our show is number one in time spent listening. The average listener listening four hours and 15 minutes a week. Four hours and 15 minutes a week. I mean, think about that. That's an average of about an hour of show a day. If they don't listen to the last break in the hour, they're listening to an average of an hour of the show every day. That's the average listener. And no station equaled that. We were number one. Time spent listening. If this company ever bought a billboard for this show, who knows how high the ratings would be. This is without a billboard, without a bumper sticker. Well, we have a few bumper stickers still flying around out there, but not many. Never did a TV commercial. Never danced in a commercial with a fake booty or anything like that. Never. Never. Never, never, never. Never happened. So that's just uh, 12 plus. Men 18 plus. And this is the biggest and most exciting news of all. Men 18 plus, the Tom Likas show in Los Angeles. Number one. Beating every station in the market. Spanish, Korean, Italian, Chinese, whatever languages are on the air. All the sports talk stations <laughs> that are supposed to specialize in getting male listeners, we beat everybody. We were number one. Number one. Number one in share, number one in time spent listening, number one. 
the average listener listening, uh, are you talking about males over the age of 18, four hours and 45 minutes a week, beating everybody else? Who is everybody else? Well, it's all the Spanish stations. It's KFI. It's Power. It's Jack FM. It's The Wave. It's K-Rock. It's KLOS. It's Coast. It's K-Earth. It's KNX. And everything below that. Men 18 plus, number one in the market. By the way, just for giggles here, let's look at the sports talk stations. They're supposed to do well in men, right? Let's just go, let's see. That's page two. They're not there. Looking for the sports talk stations here, page three. Well, look at that. Let's see. ESPN Radio did not make the top 20 stations. So I can't even tell you what their number was. ESPN Radio, not in the top 20. And uh, KLAC, they've got the Lakers. They were 19th with a 1.7, and they were 16th in time spent listening. So much for a male format. Now, let's just say let's just say those two stations were tied. Let's take the two all-sports radio stations in L.A., and, 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 and let's say they have the exact same rating. Let's, let's give ESPN Radio a gift. I don't even see them in the top 20. Let's say they and KLAC, the other all-sports station, let's say they had equal numbers, Okay which they don't. The two stations together would only have a 3.4 in men, which would be good enough for sixth place. So at a 5.1, we have more listeners than the two all-sports stations put together. Put together, and you and you have changed from your dollar. That's pretty damn good. So uh, they're going to be a buck a cluck soon over at those stations. I'll tell you what, I don't care what you think about their stations or who you think is listening, the ratings don't lie. And sports radio in L.A. has very, very few listeners. <laughs> they have very few. All right. 18 to 34, the Tom Liker Show continues trending upward, up from a 4.1 to a 4.2. Number one in time spent listening, now up to four hours and 45 minutes. Number one in time spent listening in 18 to 34 adults. It's adults between the ages of 18 and 34. So, uh, oh, you're right, Dean. All the PR firms, all the PR firms that put their uh, celebrity guests on some of the other shows... Like the all sports stations, for example, <laughs> you're wasting your time. And if I hear, not that I listen to the all sports stations very often, but I listen to all radio stations, it's part of my job. Any celebrity I hear on an all sports radio station, guess what? They're not appearing here. They could just appear over there. That'll be fine. But, uh,. Who did we beat? Oh, nobody. Hot 92.3, Jack FM, Coast, K-Big. What do they call that? My FM now? KFI. Uh, what are they calling Star now? Oh, yeah. How long did it take them to come up with that? 98.7? How'd they do? 2.2 to a 1.5. Fantastic. Very good. They have billboards that say, are you a rockaholic? I think the general manager soon is going to be an alcoholic if he keeps seeing numbers like these. Jesus Christ. And adults 25 to 54. Now, this is the money demo. The money demo, boys. I mean, uh, this is the one that Coast is trying to get all the time, right? Guess what? We beat Coast. <laughs> adults 25 to 54. Attention all ad agencies. Attention advertisers, attention blue chip advertisers. I don't care what Coach says, we beat them 25 to 54 by a full half a point. Not only are we sixth in the market and third in the English language, we're also number one in time spent listening in adults 25 to 54, the most important demographic there is. So uh, who did we beat in the money demo? Are you curious? 
Sure you are. Who did we beat? Well, let's see. Jack FM, Coast, as we said. Uh, Recuerdo, 103.9. The oldies aren't doing it. K Buena, nice chicks on the billboards. We beat them. The Wave, K Rock, K Earth, KLOS, Somebody's FM. It isn't my FM, but it's somebody's, I guess. Uh, Power 106. Hot 92.3, KNX, and the party goes on. So thank you for making us the number one radio program again in Afternoon Drive, especially among men. Number one undisputed champion. It's outrageous. You love it, right? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It makes me sick to my stomach the way they worship you. It's ridiculous. It's like you're some sort of god or something, and you've got your own little Bible going on. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yeah. Number one in man in Southern California again. <laughs> Yawn on the top like his show. Hello? Yeah. What's up, man? Um, I just want to wish uh, uh, Tom a very sincere uh, uh, congratulations to winning number one on the, uh, uh, on the charts for uh, the radio. Are we like to tell him yourself? Yes, that'd be fantastic, man. Okay, hold on, please. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM, number one in men in Southern California. Again. Jan, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hello, Tom. Uh, this is your son, Jan, calling. Yes. Um, I just wanted to wish you a very sincere congratulations for being number one once again. Uh, and, I'm uh, sorry, your phone is uh, fading out. Could you say that again, please? Well, um, uh, I just want to wish you a very sincere congratulations for being number one again. Um, Thank you. Yes. And uh, also, I just want to know if you can take me out comedy style, sir. It would be fantastic. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Jeremy is in Portland, Oregon. On the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Hey, just want to say congratulations on your ratings. Love your show. Thank you. And I just want you to know, like I said, you were talking about your uh, ads. The only time I've ever heard an ad for you is doing this great is when I've seen you at a Playboy party in the magazine or uh, the show before it, introducing you. So you're doing great. Good job. Keep it up. Thank you, Jeremy. You blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jesse. On the Tom Likas Show as we celebrate number one again. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you doing? Doing okay, Jesse. First time, long time. Thank you. Professor, one question. What is the one savage guy from the AM came out on the radio? Does he still have an audience? Who? The one guy that comes on AM, some some guy named Michael Savage. Uh, he is not even a rumor in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm glad to hear Nor that. Nor is his radio station. Oh, geez, I'm glad to hear in that. In fact, I, I have heard a rumor that his station is for sale. Uh, for real? That's what I've heard. I heard he broadcasts wrong one in San Francisco somewhere over there. I well, I, you know, uh, I live in SoCal just like you do. Oh, my God, I cannot believe I heard so many old old school people talking about that guy. I just get some money. So you guys had to I just wanted to say I love your show, Michael. 
Because I agree with you. The Jews, I hate the Jews. I hate the Mexicans. I hate the blacks. Uh, anybody of color. What do we need people of color for? You know what? They should go back where they came. They should all go back where they came from. What, about, what is it with these Indians? We ought to send them back where they came from. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that guy just gets on my nerves for real. <laughs> Sir, it's an honor to talk to you. Can you please blow me up? You know I can. I love it. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. And now, deservedly and to take credit for the ratings of our Los Angeles affiliate. Our, what do they call that station that's like the, that old school term they used to use to, our flagship station. Yes. Whatever that means is the... Vice President of FM Talk Programming for CBS Radio, Mr. Jack Silver. Jack. Larry freaking David wishes he could program radio stations like I can. That's all I can say. That guy couldn't program his own VCR or TiVo, Tom. But I, in my infinite wisdom, has figured out how to resuscitate the patient. And we are on a roll, big boy. We are on a roll here. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, Tom, I, I feel confident that uh, tequila shots at uh, Genghis and uh, martinis at Lola's are in our future, my That's friend. exactly right. Well, no, th this is a great day, and obviously congratulations to you, Tom. As you know, I've been, I've been uh, riding your coattails for only about 11 years now. <laughs> <laughs> and we've scratched and clawed our way right to the middle. Yes, we have. And this has been, well, actually, to, to, to the top, finally. And this is just, you know, another great day. Um, yeah, I mean, in addition to your show, I mean, Adam Carolla, the morning show is, you know, probably the fastest-growing morning show in the market. Guy's going to be on Dancing with the Stars, got the Hammer coming up, some other show on NBC. And, and, and the morning show sounds damn good. And then I really like having the douche. Uh, Bonaducci on right before you kind of mm -hmm. kickstart the afternoon, throw the throw the hyper rooster, the Tasmanian radio devil in there, and that's cool. And of course, Frosty, Eddie, and Frank have always been strong. And nights, weekends, come on. It's <laughs> But anyway, really, congrats on uh, on the numbers, and you know you, the, the main thing is, look, it's been two two years and two months since uh, Howard Stern's left our station, and it's been a it's been a climb, it's been a battle. We knew it would be a battle, and I've, I've been very candid about that on the air. I mean, we didn't pretend that we lost one of the most important broadcasters, maybe the most important broadcaster in the last 25 years, and you can't recover from that in, in one week or one month. It's going to take some time until people understand that life goes on. Well, well, that is true, and then you, and then you have to plan your work and work your plan. I hate to be a cliche festival. I hate to be Larry David with an actual, you know, personality. But God damn it, if you stay the course and you work in it every day, you know, good things like this will happen. So, um, I say we meet at a bar stool at about seven thirty, and you know, throw down. I'm in. Well, very good, Tom. I'm going to go back to reading my surf magazines and and to kind of. Brush up the little MySpace page I'm working on. Are you? Oh, you're in the office today, in other words. Oh, well, <laughs> every once in a while I stop in just to, you know, check my mail <laughs> and to make sure I still have an extension. <laughs> you never know. No, it's been, it's been a rough time for the industry. Anyway, congratulations. I'll be listening. And really, never play that crappy music again when I come on the air. I... Damn it. <laughs> All right. GTG. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jack Silver, the uh, vice president of FM Talk Programming for CBS Radio, checking in. <laughs> 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. <laughs> Sergio on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? I just wanted to call and congratulations on your uh, number one show in Southern California. I actually listen to you every single day through uh, traffic here. I love that. Yep. It's very it's very fun to listen to you, especially when you have those uh, stupid callers call you in and try to argue with you. It's just impossible to win. Why don't they give up? And thank God they don't. Just ignorance. <laughs> ignorance made us number one. It's true. <laughs> Can you take me off, uh, Jake and JFK Stone? Senior or junior, Sergio? 
a senior actually with a with a thank you Jesus at the end. Oh boy! All right, here you go. Thank you, Jesus. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, in case you're just tuning in, the numbers came in today. And we are number one in men, again, in Southern California. I, just ridiculous, and uh, all the numbers up. And in every demographic, time spent listening, number one of all radio shows in Southern California. Which, uh, what can I say? Thank you. Let's say hello here to uh, Danny. Danny on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? I thought to uh, say congratulations. Uh, I was out here in Wilmington driving a street sweeper, listening to you every day from 3 on till about 7 o'clock almost. So I listen to you a hell, hell of a lot every day. I've been listening to you for about a month. I just thought to say congratulations on number one rating. Thank you for that, Danny. I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely, man. It's hilarious listening to all those chicks call in, you know, complaining about everything. And <laughs> every time they call in, especially chicks on politics, they, you know, call in, you know, pre, you know, they know why they voted, and then every time after they talk to you, they just have no clue why they voted after that. <laughs> but uh, I just call to say congratulations, and I want to know if you can take me out with a bonk token. Uh, thank you, Jesus. I certainly can. Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Mike listening to the online stream from San Francisco on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Congratulations. I, I'm, I'm, I've I'm, been in marketing, and I don't think people really get the full impact of that demographic. That's one hell of a job you're doing. Uh, that's that's incredible, and I really uh, want to congratulate you on that. Thank hey, you. But I, have a, I have a question, a couple of questions. Actually, when the heck am I going to get you up here in the Bay Area? Well, uh, that's two. a que- Well, I'm going to answer that question before you get oh, to your okay. next question. And the, the answer to that is as soon as uh, people like you call your local station and tell them you uh, want to hear us. I got to tell them because this is a heck of a show. I listen to you on the Internet. Second question, they say that re- best revenge is living well. I'm just wondering how this impacts all your exes. Oh, well, uh, I don't know if this impacts them as much as the financial benefits of being number one. Uh, Today, I just rolled in from my ranch up north of Santa Barbara, and uh, I spent the weekend there. I was in the pool yesterday and uh, enjoying my 20 acres, and uh, it was about as beautiful as it could possibly be. It was fantastic. And there's a lot of women out there who have dated me or been involved with me or even been married to me who didn't get the plan. They didn't understand where I was going with this, or they just didn't see the wisdom in it. And uh, that's fine. They can go off and live uh, you know, in their $1,600 a month apartments wherever they live. Meantime, I will be uh, up there on the ranch uh, enjoying my time, my 20 acres. Guy, you said the perfect example for us. Keep it going. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate the call. Absolutely. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Greg. How are you? I'm doing great. I just wanted to say I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Okay. I do think you do a hell of a job. And uh, I've been listening to you for a long time, and you've helped me out with uh, many relationships. But my question for you today, or actually my statement maybe, is what, how do you rank among people who uh, have uh, DUIs and bad credit and uh, pot tickets? Hopefully I'm number one in all of those, um, but I'm number one in men, period. You have to uh, understand, I'm number one in men. I'm also number one among people who buy Mercedes Benzes, number one among people who buy Lexus, number one among people who buy Infinity, uh, number one among people who read the Wall Street Journal. Uh, you have not seen the numbers, and as much as you think you're a wise ass, uh, if you actually saw the breakouts and the psychographic uh, research from Scarborough, uh, you would know that we have among the highest income of any audience in Afternoon Drive, highest education, and among women, the highest, if you can imagine this, the women who do listen have the highest income among women of any radio station, including stations that appeal to women. Well, I do think you do a great job, man. I just wanted to give you some crap, but uh, well, you can I, always I give me some crap. Time. I can, you know me. I'm not afraid of anybody, or even I'm not afraid of a little ribbing. That's fine. I know that, but uh, you keep up the good work, man. Uh, you help out a lot of people, whether you know it or not. Uh, you help out a lot of young young dudes who don't know any better. And I'm 30 years old now, and uh, 
You uh, you help out a lot of people, man. So thank you very much, and uh, keep up the good work. Greg, thank you. I do it as a public service. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You can have an opinion. I just don't want to know what it is. Why is that? Because I just want you to put your left leg at the 12 and your right leg at the 3. Oh, 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 that is so irritating to hear you say that. It's the Tom Likes Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show, number one. Among men in Southern California, number one every afternoon. This is the show men listen to. It's the go-to show. It's not KFI. It's not sports talk. It's not Larry Elder. It's not whatever losers on KRLA. Wondering if the station's being sold. Nope. It's us. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Greg. I just wanted to tell you that you are the man, baby. Well, thank you, you so much. You are the man. Thank you. I got to tell you, I'm the reason why you're number one, baby. I listen to you every day, even on the weekends, boss. Love it. I got I to gotta ask you a question, Tom. When when uh, when we turn off our radios and turn them back on, is, is that act as if like somebody else, like you know what I mean? Like if I resign that meaning, can I get you higher ratings? By no, no, that? no, no. It doesn't work that way, and um, we're really not supposed to talk about how the ratings work, except to tell you that uh, if you were one of the people who was chosen to rate the uh, station, uh, they would contact you. And let you know. So uh, it does. It's not automatic. Not at this time, anyway. Well, just want to say once again, congratulations. You are the man. And uh, can you take me out with something that sounds like the ratings climbing, baby? Something that sounds like the ratings climbing. All right, here you go. <laughs> That's what happens when the ratings climb. I'll tell you that. My price just went up. So uh, all you uh, people late to the party who are expecting to uh, come in here and have me read your commercial for the previous low price, well, that just changed. After 5 o'clock, you know what? After 5 o'clock this afternoon. Close of business today. After that, price goes up. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Jose. How's it going? I want to congratulate you for your rating. I love your show. Can't get enough of it, man. Thank you so much. I just want to know, I'm not keen trying to follow my father's footsteps. Do you have any internships available? Uh, you know what? Uh, there's always possibility, Jose. Are you going to school? I am going to school. Oh, I tell you what, I'm, when we're done, I'll put you on hold. Okay. And you can certainly apply for the position. Cool. Uh, but I uh, just want to remind anybody else who might call in, if you're not going to school, uh, there are no internship positions unless you are in school currently. Yeah. Cool. All right. That works for me. I am. I'm trying to follow your footsteps. I know I have to start from the ground, but I'm trying to build something. Really? What better better, what better what way to follow the, my successful dad, huh? Live on my fumes. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Tom. Thank you for your time. And can you blow me up? Yes, I can, Jose. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The ratings came in today. And uh, number one in men, the Tom Likas Show, number one, Dennis. Listening to us from Gig Harbor, Washington, on the online stream on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. We really need to get you back on live here in Seattle. Well, that means you have to call your local station. Well, we're calling KISW where they have you on tape delay, but they just don't want to put it on live right now. You know, we got all these Boeing people that are going to be sitting around all day now without that contract. They're going to need to listen to somebody live to cheer them up, and you're the man that can do it. I'm the man. Well, over the years, I've had many, many listeners at the Boeing plant, as you know. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the Bremelos in, in Bremerton are looking out for you as well. Well, I think they want to get with me, especially now that they know how well I'm doing. Yeah, definitely. And BJ Shea's up here doing a lot of service for you as well. You guys are in good graces, and it's good to hear you guys on the same station. But we, we definitely want to get you on live. Well, you got to let your station know. That's what we tell everybody. 
And in the meantime, uh, if you're not satisfied with hearing our show on tape, you can always go to blowmeuptom.com, as, as you, Dennis, have done. Yep. And, uh, I, have, I have you on all day, Tom, and everyone in the office gets the same enjoyment. we got four other people in here, and we all get to listen to it. Sounds good to me. So if you could take me out Kobe style, it would be great, and we'll keep pushing the live telecast here as much as we can get it. I'll well, take a telecast, too. Absolutely. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Sorry, Dad. I'm working as well as you're working here. I understand. All right. Well, uh, hey, I just want to say congratulations on the number one spot there. Thank you, David. And then uh, on top of that... Let's take a look at guys who don't listen to your show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at those pussies. All right, so, you know, guy friends. All guys got them. Some guy friends are better guy friends than others, but what makes a good guy friend? And for me, a good guy friend is somebody who, you know, has my points of views and agrees with what I agree and watches some shows I watch and, of course, has to listen to my dad most of all. Uh-huh. And, you know, I talk to some of my friends. I'm like, yeah, you should, you know, you have some girl problems, whatever. You shouldn't have a girlfriend to begin with. But, uh, you know, you listen to Tom Likas, oh, I heard of that guy, and they just talk bad about you. And I'm like, come on, you know, just listen, tune in and listen for four weeks and just give it a try. And, you know, you'll start to agree with what this guy says. You'll, you'll think he's wrong at first, but then you'll start to agree, and you'll see that all, although that... You can't say that word on the air. Oh, sorry. Dad. Much as we'd love to. A-hole, a-hole. Wish yeah. we could. Yeah. So, um, I'm an a-hole. Yeah. So I know how to be a good, a good man as well. I am the good... king of the a-holes. King of the a-holes. And a good friend. And I, I believe you can be an a-hole and a good friend. You know, you're going to be an a-hole to the ladies because that's how it's war out there, just like you say. But for all the men that don't listen to this show, let's try to get them to listen. So I think the homework for the week is all the guys out there who do listen to the show and do agree the show's number one, at least get one of your friends to listen to this show, turn them on to it. That's the, that's the homework for the week. That's all we need. I'm out. Thanks, Dad. Peace. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Steve is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Steve. Congratulations. Another successful ratings, baby. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm down the coast from, uh, from Portland. Uh, we used to get you. The station went out of business. I have to listen to you streaming. But you're fantastic. I used to be a sponsor. My business sponsored your show on on the local radio before they went belly up. Did it work for you? It did. It was awesome. And you know what? I got to tell you, I got to disagree with one thing you just said. You are sports talk radio. Because scoring with chicks, banging chicks, following like us 101, that is the true definition of Full contact sports, baby. Yeah, the difference between us and sports talk radio is we have a big audience. That's and, right. And they don't. Absolutely. freaking lootly That's right. But I just wanted to congratulate you. Keep up the good work. Hopefully we'll get you back on the radio here on the Oregon coast. I'll still listen to you streaming. And uh, take me out old school. Here you go, Steve. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We just got the ratings here in Los Angeles, and we are number one in man, number one. Number one in time spent listening in every major demographic. Number one. Number one. Number one. I bet there's people out there just really pissed off about that. What do I care? We're number one. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing, man? Doing okay, Robert. Hey, man, good luck on number one thing. But I just got kind of two questions for you, man. One is, how do you rank amongst the brothers? And two is, have you ever seen that show, The Kind of Millionaire Matchmaker? Because there's a whole bunch of pussy guys there that need to listen kind of to your show, man. Oh, I'm, in fact, one of the guys on that show has been on this show. Oh, man. Do you know that? Really? Because every time I look at that show, I mean, these guys are kind of billionaire, and and, and this Yanta broad is, you know, you know, like trying to tell these guys to oh spend money and you know, fly them here and there and show them what you love. You know what? If I was a millionaire, 
first of all, you know, I'm not, you know, it's like I'm not wasting my time trying to get some chick that's a kind of bartender that's been banging some, you know, kind of bouncer. And I'm <laughs> sorry about the, but come on, yeah. man. Yeah, uh, you know, if uh, if you're a millionaire, you should be banging Brazilian underwear models. Yeah, and you, know, you sh yeah, I mean, really. Uh, <laughs> the other thing is, if you're a millionaire, you should be the least likely to get married. What do you need to get married for? I mean, but but if I'm just looking at it. You know, it's like you know, what? it's like these guys. They need to listen to your show. They need to listen like this one on one to you know to learn. Hey, you're the wanted part. You know, it's like you shouldn't be having to show these hoes nothing. It's like them hoes that should be on their knees saying, hey, choose me, not you driving them here. And, like, I think there was one episode, a guy, he was kind of nerdy. He, you know, kind of flew off to wine country. I'm like, hell, baby, that's more than kind of $40. That's what the Tom Likers range. We can, you know, you know, it's like, kind of, we go get a bottle of Berenger's and some cheeses. Well, I'm not flying your ass up to uh, uh, kind of Marin County. That's right. You know, you want to go up to Marin County is what you do. You call Southwest, and you get yourself a ticket to Oakland, and then you drive over to Marin, okay? Yeah, because you know what? I'm a face on but I always broads. You know, they'll make the next guy work hard, but believe me, on those kind of Saturday nights, there's kind of some low-life guy, their ex-boyfriend, that, that's a bouncer or a bartender somewhere that's banging our ass for free while... Kind of you're spending your money. That's right. And all of kind of fame milky, but you know, she's telling you, oh, I need for you to show me and prove to me, yeah. But yet, on the lonely nights when, like, she, she, she make you sit at home with blue balls, believe me, there's some guy, some low life guy that's just banging her and, and just got her, you know, like, on her knees while you're spending your money. So, you know what? Put them hoes to the side because, believe me, it ain't even worth it. You are right about that, Robert. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, David. First of all, you know, congratulations on being number one. Thank you. Uh, let me ask you, uh, what else is there out there? You know, who are you going up against? There's really nothing. Well, for one thing, for one thing, there's 81 radio stations you can hear on your radio in, in Southern California. 81. I don't know I who counted them. Adult, adult talk radio. You're, you know. Well, I mean, it, it, I guess it depends on how you count the stations, what you consider talk radio. Uh, I mean, there are stations on AM radio. Uh, in fact, all the talk stations other than this one are on AM. Most of them serve much older listeners. Uh, because, uh, you know, my, if you were going up against, like, Howard Stern, you would definitely not be first in the market. But but the point is, I don't, I'm not up against Howard Stern, and I never have been. But I don't know who are you up against, is my question. I'm up against whatever's on between 3 and 8 p.m. I mean, your show's so repetitive. I mean, there's really. Well, how would you know unless you're listening all the no, time? I do. I listen to your show. I, oh, I, there I, you I go. I love when it. I, when I don't have my serious. Uh, it's opinion, amazing. So I, I'm amazed. Even though you find it repetitive, you continue to listen. And, and I guess that's the reason why, if you think it's repetitive, I guess we do it the way we do, because even critical people like you listen. What, what makes your show good is your audience. It's not really you. It, well, the audience wouldn't be here if, uh, by the way, why, why don't all the other shows have an audience like this? Because it's not really an adult topic. That's why not, don't the other, well, the, why don't they do a show like this? You're absolutely because right. they yeah. can't. Yeah. That's why. Because they can't. Hey, Tom, congratulations. I Thank you. 1-800-5-IDIOT. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. I love it. Well, it's because of the audience. Yeah, well, uh, what about uh, KLAC's audience? They could meet in a phone booth, the ESPN radio. You could have them all uh, get together in a studio apartment somewhere. Have a lister party. Have a lister party in the men's room at the Chevron station. You know, or how about Carol A's audience? They could all uh, huddle together in the back of uh, someone's pickup truck. Come on. We have the audience we have because we have the show we have. Bottom line, that's it. And I've been doing it in L.A. for 20 years, baby. Who else could say that? Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com.